All right, my friends. So in today's video, we are going to talk about a method on how to visualize a script. So this is something a lot of, well, beginner developers might be struggling with. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how I have dealt with this problem. And I would like to introduce you to this video by yeah, showing you a comment of a subscriber of mine called Melvin Melvin. Okay, so Melvin Melvin says, well spoken. This mindset is really good. So this refers to the video on which Melvin Melvin has commented on. I have a problem though that I'd like to ask your ask for your input on. I can watch a tutorial on how certain services work or what not and comprehend what they write and understand everything. But when I try and script something myself, I can't visualize the process I need to do in order to complete the script. Is there a learning strategy I can do to try and improve or do I simply need to keep practicing? Now, I'm going to be yeah talking about this comment first of all I'm going to yeah come to my method. So you have stated that you have started learning about certain services before actually having an idea on what you want to do. At least that's how I have understood it. In my opinion, that is the reason why you cannot visualize anything. Your ability to visualize has now been limited by the capacity of the service you have dealt with recently. I'm going to show you guys how I visualize my script so that you do not have those limiting thoughts. This method works better the less you know about any services. It is literally so easy to do and works perfectly fine for me. So to start to handle this problem, you need to do the following steps. Firstly, you need to know what you want to do and do not limit yourself. That's the problem Melvin Melvin made in my opinion. It doesn't matter if you know about a service which doesn't meet the expectations you have. Just write down or create the idea on what you really want to achieve with a script without limiting yourself. Let me give an example on what I mean by limiting thought, because this is what subconsciously happens to you and you're not really aware of it. So, let's say that you want to create an attack which does damage to the person in front of you. Now, speaking of damage and detecting victims of an attack, there are several ways to approach this idea. Let's pretend that you only know about detecting victims via the touched event, which is literally the worst, but okay. Now, if you try to visualize the script, you will limit yourself when you think that the touched event is the only way to detect victims. If you, for example, know about the magnitude method to approach this idea, then you came one step further, but you're still limited and blind to the method of ray casting. And this is what I think happened to you, Melvin. By dealing with those services, you subconsciously believe that they are the services which can provide what you need. But it's not like that. There is always a better way to do the stuff out there. Now let's get to the second step, which is to look that idea up. Let me give an example on this one as well. So after formulating your idea, you really just have to type it into Google. And as you can see, I have prepared Google right here. And you should really be cautious on this one because you can easily limit yourself on this one again. So you really should ensure that your search phrase doesn't look like this, for example. So how to detect uh, enemies via magnitude Roblox Studio. Yeah, I have a typo in here, but you guys hopefully get what I'm trying to do right here. Okay, so I have this keyword magnitude in here. And that's something you really, really should yeah, be um, cautious of unless you want to know how magnitude works in this context, but then you're at the wrong video. So your search phrase more of us should look like this. How to detect enemies in Roblox Studio, all right? So when you take a look at the search results right here, you see stuff like this. Best way to detect an enemy, enemy NPC player detection, how to detect the nearest enemy, you know, so those they do not even involve magnitude, ray casting, touched whatsoever. They literally involve or can involve any services which are helpful. So any methods which are helpful in this context. And when I, for example, limit myself by looking, you know, by searching for one specific method right here, then you will only find articles on this one specific method. And that's one thing you really, really should be aware of. Yeah, now on, on one of my last videos, I had this comment right here. So this one comment by FP, finally someone that doesn't say to read the dev forum. I'm not going to comment on that because I think that the dev forum itself is a wonderful place. 
and you can learn a lot from that but i wanna you know make you focus on the answer of sam lero esberg it is it has the solution on most of your problems you just need the keywords ain't no way a, da a database since 2014 doesn't have useful information and that comment is important so this this term keywords is very very important in this context so in our example right here with how to detect enemies via magnitude roblox studio magnitude is a keyword and it is a method and being aware of all of the keywords which you can use and which you can, and which, which you cannot use is very important in this context so not only magnitude as a keyword but also enemies detect you know those are keywords which i can use magnitude as a keyword which i should not use because it involves a method and therefore limits me my search result at the end okay i hope that this was understandable now the last part is about the best platforms to find an answer on the second step. And those platforms are, of course, the Dev Forum. So most of, most of you guys should know about this one. Scripting Helpers. I sometimes use this website as well. And Stack Overflow, but I rarely, rarely use Stack Overflow. And yeah, so those are the best platforms out there. And I'm sure that you will most likely find an article on what you're looking for in the internet. And after finding it, you get an idea on, of what services and methods you can use to achieve the idea from the beginning. Now, with that being said, make sure to subscribe and to turn on the notifications and to like and to comment.